Hi everyone, I just got this package in the mail today from K-Pop Factory, which should contain the merchandise items I ordered from Monster X's The Connect Encore concert, which they held in Seoul last month in August. Now, I liked a lot of the merch that they were selling at these concerts, but unfortunately, because it was only a two-day show, the merchandise was very, very limited, and a lot of it sold out. So a lot of group order managers or resellers weren't able to get a lot of merchandise at the concert. Or if they were, they were only able to get a limited amount. K-Pop Factory, for example, had a lot of the merch up on their website, but a lot of it sold out within minutes. So I was only able to get two items from them. Although my friend Parker was able to help me get some of the photo cards and stuff from a supplier that they know. But I tend to get most of my Monster X concert merch from K-Pop Factory. And one of the things that I like about K-Pop Factory is they always include these really nice photos as freebies. So this time around, we got this really cute selfie of Ki Hyun, one of Hyungwon, Juhan, and we also got this one of I Am. Now I will say that with my previous orders, I do remember it taking a little while to ship, but I feel like it took an exceptionally long time to ship out this time around. I ordered the merchandise the day it was put up on their site on August 31st, I believe it was, and I did not get an email that my order had shipped until the 16th of September over two weeks later. But I am giving them the benefit of the doubt because BTS did have a concert the exact same weekend as the Encore concerts, and they released their most recent album not very long before that. So it is very likely that they were very swamped with BTS orders because of BTS's huge rise in popularity. Basically, anytime BTS releases something, all of the sites get a ton of orders and get really backed up trying to deal with those on top of everything else. So that is probably why this order took so long to ship out. The good news is that once it did ship, it arrived to me within a week. And the merchandise items that I was able to order from K-Pop Factory were the t-shirt. I really liked that this one was a lighter color, and I also liked that it wasn't straight up white, because I'm not really a huge fan of white shirts but I have like way too many black band shirts. So I like that this one is more of a cream color. And then the other item that I got should come as no surprise. I got the photo book. Now normally they call these program books. The ones from all of their previous concerts are titled program books, but this one is actually labeled as the connect book. So I'm not 100% sure what the difference is and why they labeled this one differently. If you watched my unboxing of the connect program book, that one actually did not contain any photos from that era within the actual book. They were all from the beautiful In Seoul and Beautiful World Tour era the year before. And my theory was that they would sell a different program book at the Encore concert and that that one would contain the actual photos from the Connect concert. I don't know if it has any pictures from the actual concert or from the merchandise that was sold at that Connect concert, but I have seen that it has some pictures from the VCRs that they filmed for the Connect concert. So it seems that my theory was at least partially correct. And as usual, the book itself is contained in this resealable plastic sleeve. So you are able to open it up, look through the book, and then put it back in the sleeve and reseal it for safekeeping since it is soft cover and could very easily get damaged otherwise. So on the front cover, we have a picture of the whole group, Juhan, Hyungwon, Wonho, Shonu, I am Ki Hyun and Minhyuk. This picture was from the same promo photo shoot that they used for the original tour poster and the original Connect program book cover. But this time around, the background is black and red instead of white and black. And at the top, it says Monster X, the Connect, and then we connected. And then at the bottom, we have their symbols from the Code era and the Connect era and as well as the title of this, which is The Connect Book. Oh, and this is interesting. The first thing we see inside are the words, The Code. So it seems we might be flashing back to that era from the Drama Rama album. Unfortunately, I cannot read Hangul, so I can't read any of the Korean writing within the book. But here we have a picture of Hyungwon falling into water, which I believe was from the VCR they played at the concerts. I'm definitely going to have to look up online and see if anyone has translated what's in here, because what I'm guessing might be happening 
is that this book might kind of have something to do with one of the VCRs that they played at the concert. It was the one before they performed Lost in the Dream, I think it was, that used clips from the Dramarama music video and the Destroyer music film, as well as some original clips that were filmed specifically for the VCR, and kind of tied those together. So I'm guessing that this kind of maybe elaborates on that, but because I can't actually read Korean, I don't know. But it looks like we might have some comments from Minhyuk and I M about maybe their part of the storyline. We have some little handwritten comments as well. These right here are outtakes from the photo shoot for the Decode version of the Code album. And then we have a shot of the child actors who portrayed the younger versions of their characters in the Dramarama music video. And it looks like here we have Kihyun and Juhan. So we have some outtakes from their shoot, as well as I'm going to assume them commenting on the storyline. I really hope someone has translated this because I'm kind of obsessed with what they did with the stories for those videos. And I would love to know if this really does tie it all together. How it ties together. Because I have my theory and I want to know if I'm correct. And here, of course, we have Wanho and Shonu. Once again shots from that photo shoot as well as the music video shooting and then Hyungwon who was not paired off he was just by himself in that storyline we also have the words protocol terminal which was one of the versions of the code album and then time warp which was a big part of the concept for that era it was time travel some more pictures from that shoot uh, yeah, that's exactly what this is doing, because now we've got pictures from the Destroyer music film. So this is totally connecting it together, and I really wish I could read Korean right now so I knew what they were saying. Once again, we have Time Warp, but it's crossed out this time, interestingly. And then Protocol Terminal, once again. These are really pretty pictures, too. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, and see, these are from the VCR that they showed at the concert. It had some similar concepts and settings to the Dramarama video and the Destroyer music film. Like we can see I am and Juhan playing those hacker roles again, but this was obviously filmed later because of the different outfits and hairstyle changes. Like Kihyun, for example, has his pink hair and he had brown hair still when they were filming the Destroyer film. And these were actually from the Destroyer film. We've got Deja Vu, which of course was a song off the Code album, as well as the subtitle for the Connect album. And pictures of Minhyuk and Shonu. And then we have Wanho and Kihyun. And we can see here Kihyun had brown hair for the Destroyer film. Also, we've got some more little handwritten messages. And then we have Juhan and I M. So we have some commentary from I am over there. And then the scene of them meeting up towards the end of the music film. I just had to do a double take because I have the posters from the Connect album up on my wall and there's one of those that looks very 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 similar to this but it's not quite the same picture I don't think. Looks like they're posing just slightly differently. And here we have a look. We saw it in the VCR, but I, I don't think it was actually used very much, if at all, in the photo shoot or the actual video. We have some pictures of Hyungwon and some group shots from the VCR again. Oh, I really like this picture. Again, some more handwritten messages. I'm going to have to look it up and see if anyone's translated those. Oh, that one's so cute. Oh, that one's really cute, too. Okay, so here it looks like we have some behind-the-scenes commentary, perhaps, with some question and answers with the members. Some more behind-the-scenes pictures. Kihyun's little sweater vest is the absolute cutest thing in the world. It has a picture of Woodstock on it. That's precious. This is really neat to see the behind the scenes of that VCR. Some more questions and answers. Ooh, 
Oh, this is neat. Okay, so these are actually from the Jealousy music video, I believe. That one is a very dance-focused video, so a lot of the more plot-related scenes like this one are pretty much blink and you miss it. You might not even notice them unless you go back and re-watch the video a few times, but I'm fairly certain that this was a very brief scene in that video. Assuming that I'm correct and that this book is tying together the different storylines from the Code and the Connect era, this does seem to confirm that the Jealousy video, while it is very dance-focused, it does have those few very brief story scenes, and this does seem to confirm that those are related to the greater story. And I think it's really cool that we are getting these photos of some of those looks from the music video because they weren't used in any of the versions of the Connect album. They do appear only very briefly within the video itself. So this is a nice bonus that I had no idea was even in this book. Pretty much all of these looks are really great looks too. It's actually really sad that they were only in the video so briefly. And here we have some of the looks from the dance scenes which have been seen a lot more frequently. I want to say they use some of these for the live stages as well. And then we have a two-page spread with just symbols and text. This one says, we connected interview. So it looks like we're about to have interviews with the members, which again, I unfortunately will not be able to read. And right here, my theory was confirmed. We have the pictures from the promo shoot finally used in one of the program books. So here we have some pictures of Shonu as well as some commentary from him. Then we have Wanho, Min Hyuk, Ki Hyun, he is so handsome. Looks like he said a lot. <laughs> oh, he said something about Lost in the Dream. Definitely need to look up translation because that is my favorite song on the Connect album. But the entire album is like the best thing ever. And then we have Hyungwon, Juhan, and I am. And then a group photo as well as some comments from all of the members. And then we have pictures from another one of the VCRs. This one with much more of a cute, playful concept. We have Shonu and Wanho. It's really nice to see this immortalized in a photo book because they don't really do these bright concepts that often. Minhyuk and Kihyun. I have seen that picture of Kihyun a lot, which is totally understandable because it is a completely adorable picture. Hyungwon and Juhan. And then I am also completely adorable. And then some shots of all of the members. Some more behind the scenes pictures. He's so cute. We have Shonu and Wanho again. Minhyuk and Kihyun. And oh, that's unfair. The other two pairings both get two page spreads with two pictures each. And then Magne Line is just jammed together on one page. Poor Magne Line. Justice for Magne Line. Ah, but at least they do get a second page, but still, that's not right. And then we have some group pictures as well of them just goofing off and being adorable. And then another group shot, and then signatures and handwritten messages from the boys. So this is a great photo book in my opinion. I love pretty much all of the concepts, and this is a lot more of what I kind of expected from the original Connect program book with pictures from the VCRs from that show. Unfortunately, we still didn't get any pictures from the photo shoot they did for some of the merch from the original Connect concerts in Korea. I think it was the postcards and some of the pins where they were in like the red and black outfits. So that is a little bit disappointing because I did really like that photo shoot and I wanted some pictures from that as well. But ultimately, I am very, very happy with this program book and I'm very glad that I was able to get it from K-pop Factory for a decent price because a lot of times when I see this for sale, it's like 50 to $100. Anyway, that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, 
and I hope to see you next time.